behind me is this V-Line SE. The 635 model that we're looking at today is a 6.36 metre van conversion based of course on a Fiat Ducato. It's a distinctive looking vehicle with this silver metallic paint, alloy wheels and the full length awning down the near side over the sliding door. Like all V-Lines, it's a classic rear lounge layout, designed to be a practical and spacious two berth. In the highlands of Scotland or maybe by a Cornish beach with a lovely view out of the back, there could be no better place than, than this to sit and relax. You've got a big, spacious lounge area, plenty of room to put your feet up, coffee table that doesn't get in the way, and just lots and lots of room. You can invite friends in for a drink or just relax and enjoy the view. Opening windows on both sides, opening windows in the back doors as well, and a big roof light above. So you've plenty of opportunity to get fresh air in if it's not perhaps warm enough to open the back doors right round. You've also got a full dining table that uses the same leg, but just a bit of extra surface to uh, cater for full meals. At night, of course, these long settees are big enough to act as single beds, really without doing anything, perhaps just take these backrest cushions off and stow them down on the floor and you've got instant single beds. Alternatively, if you prefer a double, then these base sections just pull out and of course the backrest cushions drop into the centre to make a really big double bed. You've got reading lights in all corners too, which is a nice touch and of course a TV bracket here as well. Because this is the extra long Fiat van, there are no real compromises in the kitchen area. You've got plenty of worktop even before you add in this flip up section at the beginning. Fitted microwave, of course, and then for cooking, not just three gas burners, but also combined oven and grill. And then storage, well, cupboards down at the bottom, but you've got four good sized drawers as well. And then on the opposite side of the vehicle, underneath the wardrobe, is a decent sized fridge and it's got a removable freezer compartment so you can increase the cooling space if you need it. Despite the relatively compact nature of this V-Line, you've still got a fully appointed washroom with a cassette toilet, a shower and a space-saving tip-up basin. So if you're staying at a festival or maybe wild camping in the remote parts of Scotland, you've still got everything you need to stay independent of campsite facilities. Although the main seating area is of course at the rear, the cab isn't wasted or forgotten on site. Even without bringing into play this coffee table, you've still got a useful surface here, perhaps ideal for a laptop or maybe just for a cup of coffee. The cab the optional media pack fitted to this particular vehicle gives you the touchscreen radio with sat-nav and reversing camera. And the pack also includes an 18 and a half inch flat screen TV for the rear lounge. This example also has an upgrade from the 115 bhp engine to the very popular 130 bhp unit. Brownhills sell more Autotrail motorhomes than any other dealer and they stock the full range from the big tag axle coach builds down to the entry level tributes and these V-line van conversions. 